Hi friends, once again welcome back in our educational channel that is Precise Electronics. Friends, in this video lecture we are going to start our new topic that is study of IC. And friends, this study of IC is our last chapter of first paper that is analog electronics. And in this chapter we have to study three types of ICs that is IC 355. IC741 and ICLM317 and from today's video lecture we are going to study IC355 IC555 what is IC555 it is a most versatile IC which is mostly known as timer type IC it is a most versatile it's versatile means it can be used to perform the various applications in analog and digital fields, this IC may be used and that's why it is known as the most versatile IC. This IC is used in various applications, used to perform the various applications such as multi vibrator, it can be used as a waveform generator, frequency control network, it can be also used as a toxic gas alarm, it can be used as infrared sensors voltage regulators, modulators, etc, etc, etc. So, it has wide varieties of applications. There are wide applications in which the IC355 is used. It is mostly used in analog and digital fields. For instance, what is analog field? Analog field is a field in which the continuous varying signal, that is a continuous varying voltage and the frequency signals are applied. and when this continuous varying frequency or continuous varying amplitude or voltage is applied to the instrument, these devices are known as analog instrument or analog device. But in case of digital devices, the constant potential mostly 0 and 1, that is the binary systems are used. 0 means it is a low voltage, low level and 1 means it is a high voltage. Mostly the plus 5 volt is used as a high logic. And when this 0 and 1 inputs or input instead of 0 and 1 having a constant frequency are applied to the instrument or applied to the device then the device is known as digital device because this input is a digital input that is binary input and this binary input has a constant frequency as well as a constant potential. So in both these application in analog and digital field this IC is widely used and that's why this IC is known as most versatile IC. Now friends this IC is available in three types, three ways or three types that is first 8 pin DIP, next 14 pin DIP and next that is a 8 pin toe type. 8 pin DIP actual the pin diagram of that 355 is also displayed on your screen. 8 pin DIP, DIP is dual in line package. So there are two lines, there are there is a dual line pin number 1 to 4 and pin number 5 to 8. There is a dual line. That's why it is known as dual line package. So it is dual in line package and in this case it has 8 pins. This IC may be also available in 14 pin DIP. There are 7 pin on one side and 7 pin on the other sides and these pins are in dual line. That's why it is known as a 14 pin DIP. The next type that is IC is available in toe type. Toe means it is similar to transistors. The SL100, SC100 or BC108. These are the metal can transistors. In in metal can transistor the can is used and in this case also in this type of IC the metal can is used and this structure is known as toe type structure it is similar to transistor types. So this IC355 is a most versatile IC which is available in three types available in three modes that is 8 pin DIP, 14 pin DIP and 8 pin toe type. Now, we are going to study the important features of IC 355. The important features. The, pitch, the important features are now going to be displayed on your screen. The first feature. The operating potential can be vary from plus 5 volt to plus 18 volt. 
the operating potential, the supply potential can be varied from plus 5 volt to plus 18 volt. That means we can able to apply the operating potential within this range. Mostly, mostly the 9 volt or 12 volt DC potential is applied to this IC, applied to pin number 8 that is plus VCC. So mostly 9 volt or 12 volt potential is applied to this IC. But the range of the operating potential is in between plus 5 volt to plus 18 volt. The second features, the time delay is varied from some milliseconds to several hours. That means it has wide range of time delay. The time delay, this IC is mostly known as a timer type IC. And the time delay of that IC, the output time or the frequency is easily adjusted. And the time delay can be vary from milliseconds to several hours. And this time delay will depends upon the external comp component. That is obviously the resistor and capacitor connected to this circuit. This time delay can be vary by using an external component that is resistors and capacitor. And it has wide range of time delay. That is our second feature. The third feature, it is and it has adjustable duty cycle adjustable duty cycle friends what is duty cycle duty cycle is nothing but the ratio of t on upon t we can adjust the time delay by using the external components hence as the time delay can be vary the duty cycles can be also vary because duty cycle is given by t on upon total time and friends the duty cycle is always measured in percentage the duty cycle can be easily adjusted. It has adjustable duty cycle. That is our third point. The fourth point, it has high output current up to 200 milliampere. What is the fourth point? It has a high output current up to 200 milliampere. Friends, 200 milliampere is basically very low current. But we are considering the output of IC. And in case of IC, this 200 milliampere is sufficient current it has a very high current so this ic delivers current up to 200 milliampere and that is considered as high output current in case of compared to other types of ic's <coughs> so <coughs> the next feature increase in temperature <coughs> sorry increase in temperature does not affect the operation of circuit the increase in temperature suppose temperature increases then this change in temperature will not affect the opt-in condition that means the change in temperature will not affect the time delay the time delay will only depends upon the external component that is r and c temperature fluctuation will not affect the operating condition will not affect the time delay will not affect the duty cycle this is our fifth point the next point sixth point that is supply fluctuation does not affect the time delay. Temperature fluctuation as well as the supply fluctuation does not affect the time delay. For example, if 9 volt DC supply is connected to the circuit, connected to the timer. And suppose this supply potential varies from 9 to 12 volt. It will not affect the operating condition. Because the range of, of the supply, range of the power supply is between 5 volt to 18 volt. The supply fluctuation may not affect, does not affect the operation of circuit, does not affect the time delay of the circuit. Next, it can be used in both analog and digital field. It can be used in both analog, what is analog field? When a continuous varying signal is applied, then this signal is considered analog signal and when this analog signal is applied to the circuit this circuit is analog circuit and when a circuit when an input is converted to digital form that means the input signal is converted to zero and one format that is zero means low voltage one means high voltage mostly five volt and this signal having a constant potential so having a constant frequency Potential is already constant. 0 means 0 volt and 1 means mostly 5 volt. That means we are having the constant potential as well as the constant frequency. And this frequency is known as a clock frequency. And when this signal, that is a binary signal or that is a digital signal is applied to the circuit, this circuit 
is known as digital circuit or it is a digital device. So in both these cases, in analog field and digital field, this IC is used. That is our seventh point. The eighth point, that is very important point, the connection is possible in three operating mode. The connection is possible in three operating modes. That is first a stable, second monostable and third bistable. A stable, a stable means not stable. So in this case, both the states, both the output state, that is high and low, are unstable. The output continuity changes between high and low. It does not require the trigger pulse, that is unstable. The second mode, that is mono stable. Mono means one. So in this case, either low state or high state is a stable. One of the state is stable and the remaining one is unstable. So we require one trigger pulse. It is known as a mono stable, one stable, mono stable output, mono stable mode. The next type is a bistable. Bi means two. Binary. Bi. Bi means two. So in this case, both the states, that is a low state or off state, as well as the on state, that is high state, are in stable mode, are stable states. That means for the transition of state from low to high or from high to low, we require trigger pulse. The two trigger pulse are required. One for the transition of each state. From low to high, one trigger pulse is required. And from high to low, one more trigger pulse is required. So in this case, both the states are stable state. This mode is known as bistable mode. So IC triple five is away uh, can be connected in three operating modes that is unstable, monostable and bistable mode. The three operating modes are available. The next point it is a reliable, light in weight, low in cost and easy to use. As IC is used, the use of IC is very easy. We can easily assemble the circuit. The size of the circuit get reduced. The cost also get reduced and obviously it becomes light in weight so it is reliable light in weight low in cost and obviously it is easy to use and because of these features this ic is widely used in electronic appliances electronic circuits such as waveform generator then frequency generator multi vibrators toxic gas alarms etc 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 this IC has wide application range. Next, we are going to study the functional diagram of IC triple five. It is a functional diagram. Functional means we are going to study the function of this IC by using this diagram. That's why it is known as a functional diagram. The functional diagram of IC triple five is now going to display on your screen. The functional diagram is now going to display on your screen. In this diagram, mostly it has eight pin IC. Pin number one that is ground. Pin number two that is a trigger input. Pin number three that is a output. Pin number four that is reset. Pin number five control voltage. Pin number six threshold. Pin number seven deep charge and pin number eight that is a plus VCC. So these are the functions of the pins of that IC triple five. So in that functional diagram. Three registers are connected in series, that is R1, R2 and R3. And the value of the, these three registers is 5 kilo ohm. So three 5 kilo ohm registers are connected in circuit and that is connected between pin number 8 and pin number 1. Pin number 8 that is plus VCC and pin number 1 that is ground. So these registers R1, R2, R3 of 5 kilo ohms are connected between plus VCC and ground and hence the applied potential get divided across each registers. So these registers R1, R2, R3 form the potential divided network. And as all three registers are of equal value, the same potential will develop across each registers. One third across R1, one third across R2 and remaining one third across R3. So three registers form the potential divided network. Then there are two comparators. The upper comparator is a threshold comparator while the lower comparator is trigger comparator. The output of comparators are connected to flip-flop, RS flip-flop, reset and set, RS flip-flop. And output of RS flip-flop 
is connected to output stage which delivers the output and this output output of lead block is also connected to discharge transistor it provide the biasing potential to discharge transistor one more transistor is connected that is connected to reset terminal that is connected to reset of rs flip flop the one more reset clear and reset pulse are applied to the flip flops clear or reset preset or clear that is applied to the flip flop and the set and reset are the two other inputs that is actual inputs which are connected to the logic uh, connected to this flip flops but along with that set and reset terminal there is one more input that is clear input and this clear input is connected to reset transistor or reset transistor collector of reset transistor connected to the clear input terminals of rs flip flop upper comparator is a threshold comparator lower comparator is a trigger comparator first of all what is comparator comparator means a circuit or it is a device which is going to compare the input with obviously a reference there is some reference and with that reference we are going to compare our input so in this comparators there are two reference potential the reference potential for upper comparator is a potential drop developed across point p1 while the reference potential for the lower comparator is a potential developed across point p2 at point p1 one third plus one third that is two third potential will be developed and remaining one third will be developed across the lower comparator that is across point p2 so the reference potential for the threshold comparator is two third vcc while for trigger comparator it is one third vcc the lower comparator that is a trigger comparator is inverting comparator because the input signal which has to be compared is applied to the inverting terminal so it is a inverting comparator while the threshold comparator is non inverting comparator because the input signal which has to be compared is applied to non inverting terminal so upper comparator is a non inverting comparator lower comparator is a inverting comparator now how this circuit works how this comparator works and how the ic gives high output and low friends suppose 9 volt dc supply is applied to the input terminals this we are going to consider the supply potential as a 9 volt as 9 volt dc potential is applied to the input terminals 3 volt will develop across each resistors so the reference potential for the upper comparator that is threshold comparator will be 6 volt Two third of applied potential that is six volt, while the remaining three volt will develop across the lower comparator. So obviously, the reference potential for lower comparator is three volt. Friends, in the potential applied to pin number two, that is a trigger input, drops below the reference potential. This comparator, that is a trigger comparator, becomes active and gives a reset pulse to the RS flip flop. It is an inverting comparator, and the potential applied to inverting terminal get less than the reference potential drops below the reference potential. The output of this comparator becomes high because this comparator will going to convert, will going to invert the input signal. When the input becomes low, output becomes high. That means when the potential applied to pin number two drops below the reference potential, the output of this comparator becomes high. and the reset pulse is applied to the rs flip flop and when the reset pulse is applied to the rs flip flop the output of flip flop goes to low level so the output of flip flop becomes low but due to output stage in this case the output stage is nothing but the inverter that is a not gain so due to output stage the output of ic becomes high because the low input applied to the applied to the inverter is converted to the high output it is going to invert that input so input applied to the inverter is low so it converts that low input to high output and hence the output of ic becomes high so at this stage that means when the trigger pulse is applied the ic becomes on friends in this case as the output of flip flop is low the discharge transistor does not get the biasing potential and remains in off condition it remains in off condition hence it gives a infinite impedance infinite resistance to pin number 
and pin number 7 the function of this pin is discharge so obviously the capacitor is connected to this pin the externally capacitor is connected to this pin so this capacitor is connected to the plus VCC it will not get connected to this transistor because this transistor behaves like an open circuit and offers very high resistance the output of IC at this stage becomes high now when the potential applied to pin number 6 applied the kaya the IC lo off kare IC lo apan on ke lo the how the IC becomes off the output of IC becomes low only when we are applying only when the threshold competitor becomes active and when the threshold competitor becomes active when the potential applied to threshold competitor that is the threshold terminal get more than the reference potential because it is a non-inverting comparator so when the potential applied to pin number 6 becomes more than the reference potential that is a 6 volt because 9 volt is applied potential supply potential so when the potential applied to pin number 6 get more than the 6 volt potential more than the reference potential more than more than the 2 third volt uh, 2 third VCC then this comparator that is a threshold comparator becomes active and it gives a pulse to the RS flip flop and friends this pulse is a set pulse and due to this set pulse the output of flip flop becomes high the set pulse is applied flip flop goes into set mode so when the flip flop goes into set mode the output of flip flop becomes high this high output of flip flop is converted to low output by using inverter so what is the output of IC obviously it goes to low level because there is an inverter which inverts the input now input is high input applied to inverter is high so output of inverter becomes low that means the output of ic goes to low level ic becomes off but friends <coughs> sorry sorry but friends in this case as the output of flip flop is high output of flip flop is high the transistor as a discharge transistor get the required biasing potential and due to that biasing potential that transistor conducts and it provides a low resistance path to pin number 7 this transistor behaves like a short circuit head and due to which it provides the low resistance path to pin number 7 and obviously a capacitor which is connected to this pin number 7 externally it is connected to pin number 7 this capacitor get grounded internally through discharge transistor so it will get discharge the output of IC at this stage goes to low level that means IC is now in off condition. IC on ke wa zala mitra no? Jeva pin number 2 cha input, trigger input, upon reference picture kami ke la, teva IC on zala, discharge transistor tya condition la, open circuit se ka bio kar do ta, tasa resistance ho ta ha infinite zala. And IC off ke wa zala, jeva pin number 6 la apply ke la voltage, reference picture jasta zala, when the potential applied to pin number 6 get more than the reference potential that is 2 third VCC then the output of IC becomes low but in this case as the output of flip flop is high the discharge transistor conducts and it gives a low resistance path to pin number 7 that is that is capacitor which is externally connected. Now there are another, there are some more pins. Yeah, pin pins put like la pin number one ground with the eight bagit la supply pin number two that is a trigger input pin number six that is threshold input and pin number three that is output pin number seven discharge put like pins raila pin number four and pin number five are now remain the function of these pins first pin number five the function of pin number five is a control voltage what is the control voltage the potential applied to pin number five is directly connected to the reference potential that is point P1 so as per this input potential the reference potential get changed suppose for example 9 volt DC potential applied so the potential developed across point P1 will be 6 volt when the potential applied to pin number 5 suppose 1 volt potential is applied to pin number 5 so this 1 volt potential is directly connected to that 6 volt potential so the reference potential now get changed to 7 volt that means the reference potential will not depends upon the supply potential it will get changed as per the potential applied to pin number 5 that means this potential controls the reference voltage that way it is known as a control voltage 
this pin friends this pin is mostly connected to the ground terminals through a capacitor of 0.01 microfarad mostly a capacitor ceramic capacitor or this capacitor is connected between pin number 5 and ground in some cases in some applications such as the modulators the control potential that is a a signal which has to be modulated is applied to this terminal but in normal operation normal applications normal operations this pin is grounded through a capacitor of 0.01 microfarad that is control voltage and the last pin that is reset this reset pin is connected to reset transistor and friends this reset transistor is pnp transistor so that means when the negative pulse is applied to this pin number 4 this transistor conducts and this transistor gives a pulse to rsp block it applies a clear pulse to rsp block and due to which the output of ic gate change that means when the negative pulse is applied to this pin the output of ic gate change out ic either becomes off or it becomes on mostly it becomes off to avoid the false triggering this pin is known as a trigger pin a reset pin to avoid the false triggering this pin pin number 4 is mostly connected to the plus vcc that means because of this plus vcc which is connected to the base of transistor uh, reset transistor this reset transistor is in off condition it does not conduct and it will not apply a clear pulse to this flip flop when this pin is grounded or when the negative pulse is applied then only this transistor conduct and provide the negative pulse it provides a pulse to the flip flop and the flip flop changes its state so friends that is functional diagram of ic triple five it consists of eight pins pin number one ground pin number two trigger what is the function of trigger in the potential applied to pin number two that is a trigger input drops below the reference potential output of ic becomes high. so ic goes into on condition pin number three that is output pin number four that is reset to avoid the false triggering this pin is mostly connected to the plus vcc and when the negative pulse is applied to this pin the flip-flop gate reset the flip-flop goes into clear mode Pin number 5 that is control voltage this pin is mostly grounded in case of modulator circuits the modulating signal a signal which has to be modulated is applied to this terminal that is pin number 5 pin number 6 that is a threshold it is connected to threshold comparator and when the potential applied to pin number 6 is more than the reference potential that is 230 VCC then the output of IC goes to low level and IC becomes off pin number 7 that is a discharge so obviously the external capacitor is connected to this pin pin number 7 and pin number 8 that is plus vcc plus 5 volt to plus 18 volt dc supply is connected to this pin so friends that is functional diagram of ic triple five in next video lecture we are going to start the applications the first application that is a stable multi vibrator so in next video lecture we are going to study the a stable multi vibrator so friends thanks for watching this video lecture bye Take care. Keep watching our video lectures. See you again in next lecture. Bye.